While Philadelphia is not a city known for its overall beauty, with its rich history of street and public art, the culture of Philadelphia shines. The art in Philadelphia is what makes the city uniquely beautiful. The murals and street art in the city make it possible to highlight the underrepresented and the often forgotten communities. Well, modern day graffiti started in Philadelphia. Uh, modern day graffiti started in the 60s with a guy named Cornbread. He was a, like a high school or a teenage kid who tagged on, well, mostly homes and cars and stuff. He got really famous, internationally famous even, when he broke into the Philadelphia airport and tagged the Jetson 5 jet. And then later he tagged the, uh, an elephant at the zoo. At the end of the day, if you're an artist who wants to create something, if you're a graffiti writer who wants to create something, if you're a street artist who has this sort of momentum, this fire in them to do something, your first step probably won't be, maybe, probably won't be to go to someone looking for funding, looking for a legal wall, looking for help. You're just going to do it. I have this vision and I want to get my name bigger, you know, so I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hit this wall, I'm going to hit this wall, I'm going to go and do these routes on a certain consistent basis so that my name gets big. And it's, it's really a competitive world. There's only but so many places you can hit. And if you do hit it, it's more than likely that it's gonna be buffed out the next day by like the Anchor Tide Graffiti Network. While graffiti is an art form that allowed many young people in Philadelphia to express themselves, eventually graffiti's reputation took a sharp left turn. It became associated in the public's eye with gangs and mobs. Fearful for the reputation that graffiti was giving Philadelphia, the city decided to implement a program that replaced graffiti with murals. Mural Arts is a community-based organization. What Mural Arts does is going to different communities and create art projects that the community can feel proud of. I've been working with Mural Arts for six or seven years now. I took an internship with the Mural Arts program. That was so amazing, making art. Just the possibility of like working with different artists who have a completely different like level of experience than me and being able to work with so many different artists who have different levels of experience and think about things differently. That's what really inspired me. Philadelphia displays a lot of public art through mural arts. There's over, I think close to 4,000 murals. We're the mural capital of pretty much the world. I love, really love working with communities throughout, you know, Philadelphia. By working on murals, you really try to uncover who lives there, what are their, like, aspirations for the future, what are their histories. So you really uncover, like, a million cities in one city is the way I like to think about it. And I think that there are, in a large part, generated by communities themselves who say, like, we need to deal with this issue. Two projects that are really about beautifying that neighborhood and doing something that's visually crazy and awesome and, and amazing. So there's just incredible histories throughout the city that should be seen and known. And I think it, it makes Philadelphia the place it is. It's rich in terms of its history, its people, its stories. I think the murals really do a lot to actually bring, bring that to light. That makes it beautiful. People don't always realize that Philadelphia street and public art tells a story. It portrays the diversity and beauty of the city's rich assortment of cultures and ethnicities. Graffiti is a method of communication for all Philadelphians and a vital way of keeping history alive. It's very clear that Philadelphia is a hidden beauty that is rich with culture and deserves to be shown to the rest of the world.